in a world of powerful computers and essential software, how important can a paper and pen really be to a game designer? Well, the creators of Ballpoint Universe Infinite have found great value in those basic tools, crafting a surreal world out of ballpoint ink strokes. You first interact with the game in its overworld, where your own hand-drawn character looks like a doodle of a radish atop a tortilla chip, atop two toothpicks. You move left and right with a haphazardness that seems appropriate, given how weird your own character looks and how weird his world is. This clumsiness isn't a big issue until you're forced to navigate tight platforms and moving obstacles. Doing so is almost impossible using the default mouse-only control scheme, so be sure to plug in a controller. Using a gamepad isn't a magic solution to the movement's general imprecision, but it alleviates the problem enough to allow you to focus on this fantastical place. You interact with a cigar-chomping boot, a television wearing a ball cap, a floating cyclopic octopus, and many more freaks of nature. And you do so in a land that looks like the mad, marvelous scribbles of a pen-wielding maniac. I wouldn't call Ballpoint Universe beautiful exactly, but it's impossible to look away from this wondrous place. Most of the time, Ballpoint Universe Infinite plays like a side-scrolling shooter. The slight clumsiness of the platforming is also evident in the shooting, but space missions rarely require great precision. Instead, they're more like bizarre laboratories where you try out different ship configurations and discover the most efficient methods of killing. Your ship's customizable slots allow you to outfit all sorts of upgradable guns, shields, and swords. Yes indeed, your craft supports melee weapons that slice up nearby attackers automatically when they draw near. Melee weapons have different attack ranges and arcs, and much of the combat's fun comes from discovering just how closely you can approach peril before your space sword swipes it away. The blobs of ink that annihilated foes leave behind further prompt you to fly directly into danger. Ink is Ballpoint Universe's currency, and most of it will evaporate away if you don't swoop in and suck it up. The variety of weapons is one of the game's best assets. There's enough diversity among the various weapons in terms of range, power, and behavior that missions rarely feel stale. Enemies look as fanciful as the world does. One boss is Elizabethan royalty with a ruffled collar and a pointy hat who looks like he was cut from a playing card. Before you can purchase more powerful weaponry, facing this and other bullet-soaking behemoths can be tedious. Fortunately, the tedium is short-lived. Most often, you're weaving in and out of enemy fire and swooping towards angels of death to down them with a chainsword. Ultimately, you'll have earned enough ink to power quite a ways through the game's infinite mode and its ceaseless waves of drifting deviance. Ballpoint Universe Infinite doesn't feature notably tight battles or precise platforming, but its imaginative visuals, quirky characters, and satisfying customization options keep you invested and entertained. I've never visited a universe quite like this one, and it's hard not to be enamored by its exuberance.